13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Back over. Let's not on your thrust punches. Ready? This nice and tight. Or if you are not, if you're on hardwood floor and you don't feel like putting uh, your knuckles on the ground, on your fingertips. Ready? With me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. On your backs. Jack knives. Again. Feet up, balance yourself. Count after me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. Excellent. All right. Set up for a butterfly switch. Short and sweet. Straight to the point. Uh, go up for a two mile run tomorrow. Push some. No excuses. Just do it. Thank you. 
tell me when I was 13, 15, yeah, 13 years old, Tim, you need to develop an interior model. Well, still working. Get you your knees. Switch down towards your right side. Legs and shake off. Stand up. Alright. We're going to change the basics a little bit today. Normally, we could do mitts and gloves. One thing I love about mitts and gloves is it's a coordination exercise. It's uh, your ability to have to redirect between, uh, your focus between two different targets. I'm striking from the, the left side pad to the right side pad and so on. But uh, some of you might not necessarily have a partner at home. Uh, some of you maybe don't have the pads or uh, some of you, uh, yeah, you don't have the pads, or you don't have the pads, or you don't have a partner at home, somebody that can't do it. So, uh, in this instance, what I'm going to do is we're going to work on the mitts and gloves drills without the mitts or the gloves. So instead, we're just going to do the basics to the air, right foot back, hook forward, and it's one guard. We'll start nice and simple, jab, cross, hook, punch, reset. Just like we do in class, focusing on each strike, jab, cross, hook, reset, jab, cross, hook, do it 10 times, 10 times to each side. But in this instance, you're going to wait for me to give the command, you're going to wait for me to say move, and then we're all going to still do it together. So we're still going to do 10 on each side, but I want to work a little bit on the mechanics of these strikes as opposed to just, you know, letting you guys kind of just go out and the focus targets. Instead, let's practice in good form. Hands up, guard up, pose pointing forward, get a good half move stance. And like I said, just nice and simple. Jab off the lead, cross off the rear, hook off the lead, and then reset. Jab, cross, hook, reset. So stay with me. We're going to start with the left hand first. Ready? Move. Left, right, left, reset. Move. Two. Move. Three. Move. Four. Move. Five. Move. Six. Move. Seven. Move. Eight. Move. Nine. Move. Ten. So side to side. Same deal. Hands up. Like I said, if you don't have someone to hold the pads, that's okay. Sometimes it's better to actually do the strikes in the air, work on the mechanics and the movements, making sure that your body is moving correctly, everything's working together. Uh, I think they call that kinetic linking, when you're able to start a chain reaction of, of events from like the floor up through your body and into the strike. So I'd rather work on your ability to use your body correctly than maybe just hit the head. Ready to start the right side, jab off the lead, cross off the rear, Hook off the lead and reset. Where can I keep that guard up? Bring those hands back up each time. Ready? Move! Right, left, right, reset. Move! Two. Move! Three. Move! Four. Move! Five. Reset. Hands up. Move! Six. Move! Seven. I'm going to turn my shoulders, my whole body. And move! Eight. Move! Nine. Move! Ten. Two sides. This 
This time I want to work a little bit differently. I want to work on hook punch, uppercut, uppercut. So he's going to go hook off the lead, uppercut off the rear, uppercut off the lead. And again, pose point forward. One of the things you want to avoid doing is standing like this. Hopefully you guys can see my feet. Avoid standing like this. Avoid standing like this. Keep yourself spread out, just like you do in your regular basics. So this way you both hands can equally reach both paths. You can get a good range of motion from both sides. Yes, obviously your rear hand is never going to be able to reach as far as your lead hand, and that's okay, but we want to at least capitalize on how much range we can get, because if I'm standing like this, I got nothing. If I at least move my other hand, I mean, if I move my foot up correctly, I can get a little bit further, right? Stand with your left side forward, hook off the lead, uppercut off the rear, uppercut off the lead, and then reset. Move! Eight side. Move! Two. Move! Three. Move! Four. Move! Five. All right. Move! Six. Move! Seven. Move! Eight. Move! Nine. Move! Ten. Switch sides. Same deal. Get good quad stance. Right forward, left foot back. Right hook punch, left uppercut, right uppercut, reset. Move. One. Move. Two. Move. Three. Move. Four. Move. Five. Move. Six. Move. Seven. Move. Eight. Move. Nine. Last one. Move. Ten. Two sides. It's time to look forward, right back, hands up. This time we want to see jab, hook, uppercut. So now we're going to put all three strikes together, one with each hand. So lead side jab, rear side hook, lead side hook. Ready? Move! One. Move! Two. Move! Three. Move! Four. Guard up, elbows in. Move! Five. Notice my position. Now notice I'm moving my hips and my shoulders each time I strike. Move! Six. Move! Seven. Move! Eight. Move! Nine. Move! Ten. Two sides. Same thing. You jab off the lead, hook off the rear, uppercut off the lead. Guard stays up. Move! One.
Seven. Back up. Good positioning. Move. Eight. Set. Move. Nine. Last one. Move. Ten. Excellent. All right. Come here. You take a minute. Go through some different techniques that a bunch of you guys have. We'll start with the, so what you guys with the purple belts. So we'll start with two and eighteen. And we'll work our way through some of our higher ranking green belts and advancing belts. All right. So two and 18, you purple belts. Hands up like all right. So I'm gonna explain it right-handed. I'm gonna do it so you guys can follow along, but make sure you guys are doing the technique the, uh, the way I'm explaining. So try not to follow me exactly, but uh, because you guys are on the other side of the screen, mirror me, right? So for instance, combination two. Slide your left foot to your right foot. Turn step forward. Hands my guard. You're gonna have a three block with your right side. Back and a punch to the temple. Get too close to the nose. Three block to the, uh, with your right side, back and a punch to the nose. Slide up, chamber your left hand, I'm oh, sorry, your right hand top of your left hand. Step out with your right foot, right outward elbow to the solar plex. As you're driving the back, your right hand's gonna swoop around, grab that left foot, trap, pull that leg up, throw the leg away, shoot those straight to the groin, and then get up. So reset, right hands up on guard, so combination two again. Slide left foot to right foot, start to step up, give a three block, back to middle punch, slide up, sorry, this way, hand on top. About outward elbow of the sole flex, scoop out their left foot, trap, and again, with the way you scoop out their foot, think like a ridge hand, right? You've done ridge hand before, you swing your arm around and, and strike with the ridge of your hand. In this case, it's the same idea, except you're scooping out their foot. Ridge hand through, trap their foot, lift their leg up, throw the leg away, shoot through the groin, bend your knees. You can't just go like this. It's not going. Scoop out, throw, shoot through the groin. And then cross and come. So that's combination two. Combination 18. Step back with your left foot. Try. Step back with your right foot. Do a left cat stance. Parry block with your left hand. Step forward with your left. Back hand with your left. Same ball at the same time. Reach around the back of the neck with your left. Grab, pull them back. So they're down on their hands and knees. Do a right downward elbow to the spine. Pivot your feet so you're in a front ball stretch or a lunge position. Reverse hammer to the temple. And then cross and come. We'll do that again. Ready? Hands up. Step back. Cat stance. Time. Still trying to do it so you guys can follow along. So back with your right. Cat stance with your left. Parry block with your left. Lunge forward. Backhand. Grab the back of the neck. Pull. Make sure you step back. Right? Watch. A lot of times it happens. People do that backhand. They'll grab and they'll switch feet. And I've explained to all of you that if you pull them down, they're going to go way over there. You're not going to line yourself up with them. So, carry block with your left, step with your left, backhand with your left, grab, and then push off your left, dragging them back. So they're down on the hands and knees, downward elbow to the spine, and make your feet around. So you're going to front ball stretch or you're going to lunge facing the same direction as their head. Reverse hammer at the temple with your left, uh, right hand and cross again. So perfect belt. I would suggest you guys go over 218. Also go over your letter templates, A, D, C, and D. And then just sprinkle three in there someplace. Alright? So work on those letter templates. You advanced green belts. You green advanced green belts. We're gonna continue to progress through blue, advanced blue, and a little bit of your green. Alright? We've been hitting uh, the advanced techniques a lot, but I haven't spent all enough time, I think, on those middle techniques. So for instance, we'll do two and nine, uh, sorry, eight and nine, and we'll spend time on tensi tempos and your combination 12 and 14. But we've spent a lot of time on your animals. We did those on Saturday, so if you go to the juniors class, it's the 11 15 class on Saturday. You go through the YouTube or you can go back through the Facebook page. Uh, the juniors class we spent, we did every single animal technique, so you guys can follow along with those. Uh, but I want to spend some time on blue and advanced because we don't get to do that too often because we have no blue in advanced points. So, combination eight, combination nine. Ready? 
Tom is your knee. Punch comes in. Half moon back. Left short hand block. Grab the wrist. Right up. From ball kick to the groin. Pivot. Front of ball kick to the temple. Combination eight, you let go, cross and hook. For combination nine, you set the cross, switch hands, slide up, holding in that tightness underneath like this, not reaching over the top, so that's my elbow. This is not as strong as this. Hold on nice and tight, change your leg up, side to the ribs, cross and hook. We'll do that again. Ready? Combination eight and nine. Half and back. Combination eight, starting block, grab, from ball kick to the groin, pivot, round and ball kick to the temple. Let go across the cover, your butt for nine, take a step forward, switch the grip, slide up, pull into that side, kick to the ribs, cross, and cut. That's combination eight and nine. Uh, Alright, we'll do 12 and 14. There's 12 and 14, I don't think we, we talk a lot about, and as a matter of fact, so you guys can kind of get a visual. The goal is not to knock this over. I want to give you guys sort of a visual to see how this is all supposed to work. So, groin height, sole plate height. Front. Okay? Yeah. Front. Somewhere in the middle. Groin height, sole plate height. Watch. Combination 12. Punch comes in. We're doing your right hand. From ball kick to the groin. Okay? Three chamber. Step across. And this is only, this is a, again, the big thing about Power 12 is that it really does depend on how, uh, on how you kick. If you just show, if you just burst the kick out or if you first push them away from you. If you burst the kick out, they're probably not going to move. It's going to be more of a boom, right? Hit them, step across, they stay in that same spot. Step around, chamber your leg, look over your shoulder, back kick to the sole place, re-chamber, and step down and off to the side. I'll do it to the other side too so you guys can see. So again, this side still explaining it right, but doing it lefty so you guys can follow along. From ball kick to your left, step across, chamber look, back kick to the solo flex. Back kick to the solo flex, re-chamber, step forward, not to the side. We'll do that one more time without the mini space. From ball kick to the groin, step, chamber look, back kick to the solo flex. Work on it, all right? Work on getting both of those kicks to where they're supposed to go. Work on a bunch of back kicks because back kicks are not easy to do. I felt as you saw. 14, hands punch. All right, guys, 14. Punch comes in. Half move back. Uh, you need to be able to jump because the idea behind this is, is if I can lift up my center and lift my center to about their head height, my groin height kicking wise will then be at their solo height, which means that if I can kick really strong to the groin, but I can all of a sudden elevate myself, my strong front ball kick to my groin height will be a really strong front ball kick to their solo height because I have lifted myself up. All right, so you got to make sure you're able to jump. You got to make sure you chain your those knees up. It's all about those fast, explosive movements with your body. The back block, grab. Hop up, chamber those knees nice and hot. You have to be able to work on uh, picking those knees up quick. And one way you guys can all practice that is growing into your workout routines and frog juice. So on the ground, spring up, bring your knees back up to this position in the air, and then come back down. Jump, lift, tuck your knees in, and then come back down. And again, jump, lift, knees come up. So that way when you do that scissor kick, walk, grab, knees come up. And then you just snap out that kick. You gotta work on that snap. Alright, so it's gonna be quick. Lock, grab, up, snap. Got it? Cool. Now, last one we're gonna do for tonight tensor tempo one and two. Tensor tempo one. Punch comes in. Wheel step back. Tensor block to the right. Grab, step around. As I'm stepping around, I'm stepping into my form to match into the elbow. Reverse hammer the ribs. On the other ribs, grab the hair, step through, shoot those strikes in. Do that again. Punch comes in, heel step back, tension block, grab, pull, and as I'm pulling in, I'm stepping around into that forearm smash, reverse hammer to the ribs, palm heel to the ribs, grab the hair, grab the head, step out, and shoot those in. And then tension. 
to come from number two. Same beginning. Wheel step back, tend to block, grab, pull into a side, thrust kick to the ribs. When I step down, I throw the arm, just kind of open them up. And as I throw the arm, I turn that same direction. I do a left hook kick to the groin. I move myself around and step forward, so I'm facing them. Their shoulder, their right hand shoulder should be over here. I come underneath, just like tempo view roll, underneath, over the top, so I grab their lats, underneath, grab their arm, pull into a knee to the sole flex, step back, twist and throw, and good half of the facing the other direction. So again, wheel step back, tend to block, grab, pull into that side thrust kick, step down, throw, spin, look, hook kick, step down, through, wrap underneath, over the top, pull in, knee to the sole flex, step back, and move. So adults, I would recommend that you guys work on, for you advanced green belts and brown belts, because we don't really do them too much. Work from orange all the way through advanced blue. Work on those combinations, right? For all your orange belt techniques, purple belt techniques, blue belt techniques, and advanced blue belt techniques. We spend, we spend a long time, we spend a great majority of our time working on green, advanced green, and brown, and advanced brown. But we, have a, we, we don't spend too much time working from orange all the way through advanced blue. So take the time to go through those. I just did a bunch of them for you. But take the time to go through those on your own so you can keep them fresh in your head. Utilize the website, guidebooks. Message me on Facebook. And I'll do the best I can to answer for you. Yeah. All right? Three bow and seat, feet crossed, eyes closed, relax, back nice and straight. Open your eyes, stand up for position. Everybody bow. 